Welcome to Shipu Central's How to Care for Your Shipu's Teeth. Let's take a look at the various methods you can use and how effective each might be. When it comes to your Shipu's dental health, pay particular attention to their gums and their t- not just their teeth. When you're looking at their gums, you might be concerned that they are turning black. Maybe they were pink when the uh, puppy was young, and now they're darker. You can see there on the left-hand side, that is our oldest Shipu, uh, Titus Rex. You can see that there is some, there's some black forming around his gums. The color of the gums is not necessarily concerning. When it comes to the gums, you want to look for bumps. So if you feel along their gum line and you feel a cyst, talk to your veterinarian. Also look for swollen gums. You can see on the right-hand side, that puppy's teeth, unfortunately, are coming out of very swollen gums. That's got to be pretty painful, and, and you, wanna, you do not want your dog ever to get that, to that point. If the teeth become discolored, that's another concern. If they are gray or turning black or, or any other color than the nice white or ivory, you want to uh, talk to your veterinarian and, and consider a dental service. Sometimes even really bad breath can be an indication that there's some problems going on in your puppy's dental health. If it's just one time for one day, that is probably not an issue. But if it is every day and it gets worse, certainly you want to take your dog in and have him checked out or her checked out. Now when it comes to taking care of your puppy's oral health, we would recommend that you approach this, whatever method you're using, you do it at the same time every day. Most of us would probably take care of it right before bedtime, just make it part of that bedtime routine. Kind of like if you have human children, it's kind of like with your human children, you want them into a bedtime routine so that they know that when you start brushing their teeth or when you start taking care of other uh, their teeth in other ways, they start realizing, hey, this is part of the normal uh, routine going to bed and it makes things a lot smoother. Some of them though, some of these approaches require you to withhold food or water for 30 minutes. We'll get to that. And so it may not work right before bedtime. But what, whatever you do, start as young as you can with your puppy. If you have got your puppy at eight months, start brushing or start uh, taking care of their teeth with drops or with uh, choose whatever method you use as soon as you can. If you've adopted or rescued an older shipu, again, start their oral health routines immediately. You can start slowly at first, but do start and do be consistent. So when it comes to your options, you've got brushes, kind of like our own toothbrushes. You've got chews uh, that they will ch- not just chew on, but they will eat. And then you've got chew toys, and you've got water uh, water additives and drops. Let's take a look at some of these. When it comes to brushing, you can get one of several different types of brush. You can get an actual brush that with the handle. Shipu's mouths are pretty small. You don't generally need a big toothbrush to reach way back there. Uh, just a finger toothbrush is generally fine. We have used one for a number of years with our puppies. And if here's something really critical. Please do not use human toothpaste. Toothpaste for people is not meant for animals and dogs in particular, not good for their stomachs. They will swallow it. It's not something they need. Please do not use human toothpaste. If you think that you can make your own soda-based toothpaste, uh, like a baking soda, there's a lot of recipes out there for them. 
be aware that uh, it does generally not contain the enzymes that canine toothpaste have been formulated to have and in order to promote healthy oral uh, teeth uh, and gums. Also, probably more directly re um, relevant to you, do not expect your puppy to enjoy the flavor. And that's going to be key. The first tube of toothpaste that we've got for our puppies was peanut butter flavor. And they just could not get enough. Of course, dogs love peanut butter. And uh, peanut butter flavor toothpaste really helped it get going, uh, help, help them uh, uh, become accustomed to brushing their teeth. There are chews and chew toys as well. The uh, chews, and there's several varieties of them, uh, they're going to be about four inches, three to four inches long. Uh, dogs love them, especially when they're soft. And you can, uh, we, we give one to our puppies right before bed, and they love going to bed. They will, do, they will spin and spin and spin all the way to their beds. Instead of jumping up and down, our, our puppies like to spin. That chewing will help de uh, decrease some of the tartar on their uh, teeth near the gum lines. It's not 100% effective. In fact, I would not rely 100% on any of these methods. Use a variety of them. Chew toys in particular, uh, no matter how it's shaped, I don't, I'm personally, I'm not a veterinarian, but I don't see how a chew toy can take care of, uh, take care of the, flat, the plaque on every single surface of your dog's teeth. It's going to be great on the uh, bottom and the top of the chewing areas and maybe on the external sides, but it's really hard to get in the very back for the, uh, using a chew toy. But it can be effective uh, and... Uh, will will promote uh, healthy teeth so that you may not have to um, have to worry if you forgot to brush the dog's teeth on a given night. Water additives are another option. These products simply say that you add a certain amount of wa uh, their product to the uh, bowl of water uh, and that you allow the dog to just drink it up, and it will work to reduce the plaque, the tartar buildup on your puppy's teeth. Again, yeah, I think it's a great idea. I would not suggest that you use that as your only option for proper puppy health. Then you have the drops. These are, and this, this is one of the products that we've used, uh, these will will instruct you to put a, a couple of drops on your fingers and then rub them on the back outside teeth of your puppy. And then the puppy immediately, and I, we can say absolutely they do this, they begin to lick it off. And, and the uh, the argument here is that it by licking it off, it's, it's creating friction or creating abrasion that takes some of that... Uh, uh, tartar and, uh, and bits of pieces of gum out of the dog's or off the dog's teeth. Again, uh, great for um, uh, as, a, as an additional option, but I would, I would not rely solely on this one. So that's, uh, those are the various options that you have. If you are concerned about your dog's health, certainly do talk to your veterinarian. When they're a puppy, your your, pup, your shipu can receive a fluoride treatment. Not all veterinarians offer it or uh, provide it, but you can ask about it. Once they hit uh, six, seven, eight months, it uh, may not uh, be as effective, but check with your veterinarian when your puppy is young. Thank you for joining me. For, for more tips on raising a healthy shipu, please see shipucentral.com. We have a blog there. That's Shippu Central, S H I H P O O C E N T R A L dot com. No dashes, no dots. And then uh, so you can search my blog there for 11 food tips to raising a healthy Shippu. Please like this video, and if you'd like to be notified of upcoming videos, how to Shippu Central videos, please subscribe. 
Have a great day.